Kylie and I are no longer together. I went through a breakup. And it's doing truly incredible. I want to thank you all for streaming it. Over half a million streams on Spotify in a week, which is... I can't thank you enough. It's 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 really it, oh, fuck, man. You guys support me through these vlogs. You support all my music. It's crazy that I don't even know you, and you you're rooting for me, and you're throwing it up on your story, and like for you to do that for someone that you've never even met. I'm lost for words, so thank you all for, for listening to the song and, and all the positive feedback. And when I released it, she reached out. She said, look, I'm proud of you. It's a really, really good song. It's your best song yet. And I thought that that was really nice of her because she didn't have to do that, you know? So I was like, why don't I call her for the video and catch up? We haven't spoken in over a year. And I feel like a lot of people go through this where they, they break up and never talk to their ex-girlfriend again. And what would that be like? And it's kind of weird, not gonna lie, because life's gone on. I really don't know what else to say, but I'm a FaceTimer and you guys will see us talk for the first time face to face since we broke up. If it gets weird or awkward, I'm fucking sorry. Yo. Hi. You realize this is the first time we've spoken like face to face in over a year? Wait, you're lying. Isn't that weird? That is kind of weird. That's really weird. That's wild. Yeah, that is pretty weird. <laughs> I was like, I prefaced, I was like, it might be awkward, guys. I'm just gonna talk. We're just gonna talk. <laughs> Like love for you, but like you remember how people always say if you're best friends with someone, you like don't talk to them for a year, you can like just pick it up. Like I feel like that would be us. I feel like we're not awkward people. So I don't know. Actually, I take that back. I'm pretty awkward sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little nervous. It's just different, you know. It's weird. Wait, I, miss. I don't know. I just haven't talked to you in a year. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm crawling in my room right now. Why? I don't know. Because I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. Like, what have you been up to? Um... So now I'm gonna live by myself. Ah! Really? Yeah. I can't live with a lot of people in the end. Yeah, I really liked it at first, obviously, because of the like alone time. Then like I got really alone and like felt super lonely. And then you wrote a memory about me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wrote Memory in August of last year. Oh, yeah, wow. A long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. What was your first impression when you heard it? Uh, I was like, wow, this is actually good. Oh, thanks. It was really good. My first impression was like, obviously like my ego. I was like, <laughs> 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 it's about me. <laughs> first impression actually was that it was really good. Second impression was my ego. Third impression was like, wow, he really went there and gave like specific thing. And then I sent it to all of my girlfriends. It's like, there's another song out there about me, guys. <laughs> Was there any moment you like were listening and you're like said he really went there like what did you what specifically? Like I saw you on the freeway. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. And then obviously like the painting because your parents still have the painting and which yes they do. And then the letters and the bracelet. Yeah, that's funny because the highway thing was so that was probably like the first time I saw you ever. So, yeah, that was before Coachella. Was it? I think so because I remember seeing you at Coachella. Yeah, I saw you there. I was pretty gone. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I think that was before Michelle. It was such a weird feeling because that was like the first time I saw you and I was like, yo, I think that's Kylie. You know what's crazy? I'm just being honest. My heart dropped. It was such a weird feeling. I was like, holy fuck, this is like so weird. She's like right there and I haven't spoken to her. It was such like a, a weird feeling. Yeah, because I was your first girlfriend. Never had that feeling before. Mm -hmm. Your dad texted me. 26. Dad loves you. Also, dad throws me in the bus sometimes. We'll be like fans that are like, I miss Kylie 
doing work together. And he's like, yeah, me too. And I'm like, dad, what team are you on? <laughs> he's like, dude, song was really good. <laughs> Doug. And I go, thanks, Doug. Still have the painting on the wall? He's like, sure do. <laughs> it was actually in our house for the longest time. It was downstairs in our office area, but I put all of my stuff in storage and I had no room, like literally no room left in storage. And so I gave it back. I gave it to dad. So now she That's not what I was told. What? Taylor told me you gave it to him because you didn't want to ha obviously have it hanging up in your new house. So, like that'd be weird. Uh, That's why I wrote that line because Taylor, when she was like coming over to get something, she told me that, that you gave the painting to Doug and he had it hanging up in his room. No, I mean that's just Taylor being Taylor. <laughs> because it was literally you can ask the girls. It's been at my house for the last year. Oh really? And you actually can see it in my vlog when I'm moving out. It's like the only thing left in the living room last thing I had to take out the house and I can fit it and so my dad put it in his car to take to the house so actually so wait he never had it at his house no I gotta take out that line <laughs> well it's at his house now oh, okay at the time the song came out it actually was physically at his house okay good so there you go do you have any questions about this, any of the lyrics or any defense or, or any hard feelings? I don't think that I had any like defense. It's not like you like said anything where I was like, oh, that's not true. I mean, like, the, like certain things like tell you're just like adding in to make it a song. Like yeah. clearly, I obviously never had a ringtone for you, but like, I'm, I know. Like, oh, she was lied about that. Can't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. You know what? The movie line the on the highway, I actually saw you on the highway, but the movies, I thought I saw you. I went to a premiere. So I was like, oh, she might be here. This was like early on after the breakup. It's like, fuck, I don't want to go. I don't want to run into her. And I was like, fuck it, I'll go. I went and I saw this girl from behind. I like, you had the same hair and shit. And I was like, oh, fuck, dude, that's her. And like, I had that same- Like, like that same like gut feeling? Yeah, I was like, this is so weird. But I was like, I'll throw that in the song because I thought I saw you. Yeah. <clears throat> so my camera died, but me and Kylie caught up off vlog. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> We're cool now. We got we got heated for a second. No, I'm kidding. Oh God, bless America. Yo, I wanted to explain some of the lyrics to you that you might not get the reference. Like what? All right, so I'll start from the. I've been talking a couple times. It's actually really good. Like, I'm not just saying. Thanks. I mean, I'm not biased because it is about me, but like I genuinely think it's really good. The first line: Put your Polaroids and T-shirts inside a cardboard box. Yeah. Do you still have my T-shirt? The Metallica one with the ripped up, or I had something. It's a good T-shirt. No, I still have it. I still have it. The Polaroid line, I was like cleaning my shit out. Oh my god, my like sexy Polaroid. <laughs> That's awkward. I was like, oh shit, I still got these. <laughs> oh my god. And I bought a new iPhone. I literally bought really? I literally bought a new iPhone because I kept Did finding anyone looking for those? Yep. And, and messages. I feel like it was so unhealthy. When you break up with someone, all you think about is the good times. And oh, it's, yeah. and I was like, I would like. You trick yourself into thinking. That's just like messed up. It's like you literally trick yourself into thinking of like, oh my God, it wasn't that bad because you're only remembering the good times. I feel like the lyrics in the chorus are such a feeling of through the breakup because it looks from the outside looking in because of social media that everyone's so happy and like, oh, she's like just living life normal. I think that that's like why I wrote the lyrics. Do you think about me? I have this conversation with a girlfriend. Like, this is how I can explain it. I think that like men and women process breakups so differently. And for me, I think that like I processed our breakup three months before we actually like ended things. Like I was crying every night. I like, I went through the breakup, all of the emotions that you went through after, I went through all of that, you know, before I moved out. By the time that like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be on my own. I was okay. But that's because I went through all of those emotions that you felt after during the end of our relationship. Yeah. So I think that's why it looked like that. And then also like, yeah, like part of it was probably like ego on top of it. It was like, I'm not gonna let him know he got to me. But I think also, like, yeah, I had ego in there, too. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not going to let these people get to me and, like, make me feel like I'm a bad person. I'm going to go on and I'm going to live my life and 
I deserve to be happy. If you haven't heard Memory yet, I'll link it in the description below. Thank you for almost 600,000 streams. Our next stop is 1 million. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was raw, it was real. And Kylie and I actually caught up a little bit more, but I wanted to make this video just about the song. If you guys would like to see that video of us talking about the breakup, drop a comment down below and like this video. And I will throw together that separate conversation. Again, thank you all so much. You guys have been my ride or die. And if you are new here, 40% of you guys that are watching are not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on Friday, but until then, so tell stream me, memory. Do you think, do you think about me when you're lying to fall asleep? Close your eyes, tell me who you see. Oh, baby, have I just become a memory?